All right, everybody. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Drumright Tornadoes TV on Squirtle. My name is Gene Carroll, and as always, I'm here with my partner, Tony Harper. We are coming to you from Riddle Field on the campus of Drumright High School, where tonight your Drumright Tornadoes take on the Regent Prep Rams. Tonight, we come to you with heavy hearts. Drumright High School and the entire community are dealing with the loss of two Drumright High School students who were tragically killed in an ATV accident last Saturday. Finding words during these times is always difficult and losing these precious girls is so hard to understand. Grief is a unique journey and it may take time to process all the emotions. So we will continue to pray for their family, friends, and loved ones. And we hope they find comfort and feel the loving arms of this community and others wrapped around them now and in the days ahead. I would like to leave you with two things. First, remember that any person that departs from this earth never truly leaves, for they are still alive in our hearts and minds. Through us, they live on. And finally, Psalm 147, verse 3 through 5 says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power, his understanding has no limit. Ladies, you have earned your stars. Go fly high. We hope that you find a little comfort for that. And we, we try to remember those girls tonight with a victory. I know it's hard to transition back into football, but we're going to try. Uh, with that being said, it's good to be back on the air after a two-week absence. And we're ready to bring you Friday Night Lights wherever you may be. So keep up, pull up a seat and enjoy what promises to be a great football game. Both teams come in tonight's District B-7 opener undefeated and rated in the top 10 of the Class B rankings. The Tornadoes are coming off a of bye week, which allowed for the players to get healthy and rested for the final games of the regular season and clean up some things that the coaches may have felt needed to be approved upon before district play. Regent Prep defeated Summit Christian last week 55-6 to at home. Regent Prep will present some challenges for our defense tonight in the passing game. Their quarterback, John Mark Roller, is a very gifted passer and has a variety of talented receivers to throw to. So our back end on defense needs to be sound in their assignments and cut down on the yards after catch by tackling well. So hopefully we can do that. T-Bone, what do you got for us? Yeah, well, thank you, Gene. Yeah, emotional week for the uh, Tornado Nation. And uh, all our prayer, thoughts and prayers are for administration, this community, and those families that are involved. Um, Keys to the game, <clears throat> don't let Roller get get in rhythm. Don't let the quarterback, uh, Roller, get rolling, right? Uh, let him know uh, he's not at the comfort end. This is going to be, we need to put pressure and push and perseverance on him. Be there all night, be in his face all night, and I'll let him sit back here and get comfortable. That's, that's one of the keys. Another key to success for the Tornadoes will be special teams. <clears throat> Kickoff, kick return teams, got to be sure hand. Those are the good hands people, and they need to be good hands tonight. Uh, if it's high, if it's coming at you hot, let it go by. Let the next guy get it. Uh, we can't have any uh, turnovers on that department. So we want to be we want to be sound there. Uh, next thing, uh, the big hog mollies up front. Uh, Kelly and crew, they don't they don't need a hole you can drive a truck through. Uh, they just need a crease. Gooch, my, uh, Mock, and Kelly all can take it to the house uh, with just a little bit of help. So we don't need somebody uh, trying to pancake. We, that'd be great if you do, but if you can just make the crease, just get a crease. These guys will take care of business for us. Uh, <coughs> allergies are visiting me again this week. I apologize. Uh, another thing is, uh, look for the Rams. What do they want to do? Well, they like to play fast. They like to throw the balls, flats, and screens. They like to get out uh, in the flats and screens, Gene. And uh, when they do that, uh, they've been successful all year doing that. Uh, we've got to take care of business. They look for us to miss uh, the, the opponent to miss the tackle. They want the opponent to miss the tackle, and then they may go for the big play. Uh, we've got to be sure with our tackles tonight, that's for sure. So... That's what they want to do. Uh, talk about I talked about pressure a while ago. Rams played with Tufka last week, <coughs> or uh, last week or the week before. And uh, with Tufka, which is someone that we played and beat soundly, uh, they put quite a bit of pressure on Roller, the quarterback. So uh, 
<clears throat> we can expect big things from our big guys up front. Gray, Willing, Boland. And uh, somebody that's going to be back this week or is, or is able to play if they need him, Cody Gregory, he'll be back this week. So we look, we look for him to be out there uh, doing his best. So glad to have that young, back, young man back. Um, <clears throat> other guys that we might bring pressure from other places. We might bring uh, Gooch in. We might bring a linebacker in. Uh, Kelly, we might bring him in. We might bring Cole Gregory in from a corner um, or a safety. Um, and, and the Tornadoes might have a, a few wrinkles to old plays, like, for instance, uh, a, co a couple of games back, uh, we seen uh, Kevin Gooch go to quarterback and Bryson uh, Kelly go to running back. Now, if they do that, and he pitched the ball to Bryson, but if they do that, they could do a couple of different things there. One, that, that you know, he could go ahead and pitch the ball to Bryson. Bryson take it to the house. Or if the safeties in the corners come up, go cheating off their guy, Bryson could rear off and let him have it. So we might see uh, some new wrinkles tonight, just like you might see wrinkles tomorrow at the Red River Robbery. They, they're usually good at throwing some of those in at big games. And this is a big game, right, Gene? Yeah, yep. uh, one of the biggest in the state. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a, a quick break and we'll we'll be right back with you with the kickoff. You're listening to Tornado Football on Scordal. A team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide... Welcome back to Tornado's Football. We're about to have the coin toss here. For drum right, the captains are 75, Jackson Bay, number 7, Cole Gregory, number 28, uh, Kevin Gooch, and number 1, Bryson Kelly. I'm not... I'll tell you what, uh, the stands are starting to fill up. Tornado the Nation knows how big this game is, Gene. And uh, depending on what part of the state newspaper you look at, you got tornadoes ranked as high as uh, fourth and as low as seventh. And then for the Rams, you've got them ranked anywhere from first to uh, fourth. Is that right? Yeah. Is that what you've seen? Yeah, it, in it, Oklahoma, they've got them a little lower. And of course, they're from Tulsa, so they're going to be <coughs> the number one ranking there. They're partial to that. Uh, Ceiling, Laverne, and for good reason, yeah. Shattuck. Uh, they've got some history. So a big game for the Tornadoes. First district game of the year uh, from here on out. It's all district games. And the Tornadoes' uh, season has shaped up really well for them. They've, they've consistently, week after week, got a little bit stronger test and a little bit different test. We didn't get to go last week uh, to the game. We went on air. And... That's because uh, where they played the game didn't have the things we needed to, to do that. 
but looks like the Regent's going to be kicking the drum right here to start the game off. They've handled all types of adversity, and they're going to see another type tonight. And let's just. I have a lot of faith in this group. Uh, they're coached well, and they keep their heads on their shoulder. And uh, I think that we, if we, the keys that I talked about a while ago before we took a break is going to be crucial. We're going to the national anthem here. So. National Anthem played by the Drum Ride Marching Band. <coughs> they, they, get, they do better and better every week, don't they, Gene? Yeah. Uh, hey, I want to apologize to everybody at home that's hearing this echo. Uh, we're having some technical difficulties, and I'm sorry. We'll try not to let that affect our broadcast. Uh, we're, do, we're doing some extra duties here this week that we're not accustomed to. Uh, Gene is running the boards, um, working the camera, and all I got to do is run my mouth like, I'm, like I always do. So I really appreciate that guy. But we're, we've already called Squirtle. We don't know why we're echoing so bad. Well, we're getting ready to kick off here. Get the tornadoes on the field. Here comes the tornado. Sounding the sirens, and here comes your drum ride tornadoes. Beating the pack, big Jackson Bolt. If he can't break the banner, nobody can. 6'5, six, six, 275. I have the pleasure of going into the schools in our district, and I was in drum ride today, and um, I can tell you that. Uh, this game is just what the doctor ordered, right, Gene? Uh, football players were, they were, they had a look at all business in their eye. And, uh, Tony, what do you think about this? I just think it's uh, the best opponent will probably go to face all year. Uh, not take nothing away from anybody else, but these guys have uh, tradition. They've been there and done that. Um, I do believe that player for player, that we're, we can step every step with them. I don't think we miss a beat there. And uh, so this ought, to be a, this ought to be one of the best games in the state of Oklahoma tonight. As far as a lot, I believe you said Tulsa Red earlier had uh, regional pet pick 32 to 30, correct? Yep, that's correct. So everybody uh, knows it. Drum rights loaded. And... Uh, they, they know we're loaded. They've seen the game film. They know what we've got, and we know what they got. So now it's just time to find out who can go out there and execute. Really worked up about this game. It's something I had on the calendar, uh, had on the calendar all year. How about you, Gene? Do we get here five and zero? Oh? Uh, yeah, I mean it's a perfect scenario so far. So that's the only thing we know to do is just go ahead and and make it perfect. We're going to have to play well. It's going to be a four quarter game. And uh, we're going to have to see who's going to come out on top. But 
we have faith in these tornadoes and these coaches, and we should be able to, to yeah, hang gotta, I'm sorry. I, I, well, I told you our headsets aren't working and stuff like that. We're up going. I know. I apologize, but we're having a hard time hearing one another, too. So uh, the one thing about before we get we're getting ready for the kickoff here, Bryson Kelly going back here deep. Um, one thing about it, though, we look at Drumright has not won a district uh, title since 1965. And, and we take a, this game tonight. That was a year after we were born, wasn't it? <laughs> so unfortunately, I was born in 63. Oh, two uh, years. Yeah. Uh, now, we've been to the playoffs uh, uh, 11 times since then. But um, this is a big game. And uh, so we're excited to bring it to you. And like Tony said, we're having some technical difficulties. But hopefully, we'll be able to fix that before the, at halftime. Ryan, Ryan Wright's going to be doing the kicking for uh, the Rams. And uh, like I said, Bryson Kelly back there deep. He does kick it deep. It's a really good kick. Bryson chooses to let it go. And the Tornadoes will take it out to the 25, Gene. 20. I tried to get some extra out of that. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it all we can. We'll take everything. So going out on the field right now, it looks like on the front line anyway would be uh, uh, Tanner Willing. Uh, 69, Owen Gray, 56, uh, Chase Briars, number nine, uh, Jackson Bolton, 75, uh, Bryson Kelly, at quarterback, uh, Mock at running back, Chavez, a wide receiver. Tornadoes have Chavez split out wide to the right. Mock and Kelly. Kelly takes a snap, lifts, has a little bit of a crease, picks up a big runner, and still a big push by Jackson Bolton up front, number 75. And uh, Kelly takes it uh, for about what? Five, four? Yeah, I think he got a little over, yeah, about four yards on that pickup. Hey, I'll take four yards every time here. If we can do it. Cody Gregory checks in the game for the Tornadoes, number 35, and he's been out. We're glad to see that young man back in the, back in action, right, Gene? Yeah, I'm back a lot sooner than what we thought. Congratulations, Cody. Yeah, I'm glad to see him back healthy. Just in time for a big game. Kelly tries to get to the outside. One thing uh, the Rams have, that's speed. And they're going to be teams, team tackling Kelly. Uh, they are going to be uh, keying on uh, Bryson Kelly the whole game. And uh, so we're just seeing what we can do right now. Up front for the Rams, number 53 on the tackle uh, for the Rams. Looks like we lost two on that one, Tony. Bring up third, a little, little over nine yards to go. Yeah, that, that was a loss from this angle. Uh, they got McGregory, uh, uh, Gregory, uh, Cole Gregory spread out to the left. Uh, Bryson looks to throw, flag on the play. We're going to have false start on the Tornadoes here. Yep. Not sure this is a start we were looking for, but we'll see if we can't recover here and get some yardage back and maybe get a good punt off and flip the field position, hopefully, but we'll see what happens. Tornadoes break the huddle. We got Chavez split out uh, to the right. We got trips to the right. Uh, Kelly in the backfield by himself, takes a snap from uh, Jackson Bolton, throws it out to the flats. Uh, Cole Gregory, uh, completion. Not quite the yard we wanted. We don't get the penalty yardage back, but it's going to bring up fourth and nine here. Yeah, and Phillips on the play for the Rams uh, from and number 52, Phillips on the play for the Rams. I know this is going to be hard to believe, but Drumrod's not punted much this year, so I don't know what's going to happen here. Probably Bryson's probably going to quick kick this one. Yeah, yeah that's what he does. Yeah, that's what it is. He was practicing that for the game. Get a good tornado oh, roll. Nice roll. Tornado roll. Woo. Okay, that'll give them ball about 38. So uh, Bryson did the job he needed to do. Um, tornadoes. Rams chose not to try to do anything with that punt. 10:30 left in, in the first. No score. Rams take over on the 38. Yeah, Rams quarterback, John Mark Rover is going to be somebody hard to contain here. We'll see what happens on defense. 
defensive line up front there for the Tornadoes. Uh, Owen Gray had a big week last week, uh, last time they played. Uh, Jackson Bolton also up there. Rams run it off to the left side. And good tackle Chavez. there by Jonathan Chavez. You know? Yes, Chavez, 81 on the play for the Tornadoes. And uh, Peters, it was Peters, 21 on the on the carry, wasn't it, Gene? Yeah, I think so. I think for the Rams. So it brings up second and seven for the Rams. Tornado's looking like a 3-2 right now, defense. Handoff, big handoff, throws it out there at 20. He doesn't break, he breaks one tackle, but he's wrapped up immediately by uh, Bryson Kelly, number one, comes out there and makes sure that he closes the deal. That's a good job by Cole there, holding on to him until he got some help there. Good job for our secondary. Eli Peters, the receiver, receiver on the play for, for uh, the Rams. It brings up third and four. There's a snap. Roller takes it off to the left. I don't know, it's really close. I don't think he got it though, did you? I think he's I think he's a little short, but bring up fourth down and short. Just to let everybody know that Regent doesn't ever punt. Well they're gonna give it to him. Boy, what a generous spot that was. Wow. Oh, okay. Uh, and I believe Jonathan Chavez was on the play again for the tornadoes. But we got to start. We got to start. Uh, we got to stop the penetration. We got to stop extra yardage. Uh, we got to get tighter. So uh, Roller takes a snap from center. It looks like a move up front. Hands off to 41. Uh, 41 on the play. On the play for the Tornadoes. Big time. Number seven. Cole Gregory comes up here and makes a stop. 41 uh, on the on the carry for uh, the Rams. Uh, Barrington. Yeah. Usually Borden's a run. He's, he's out split out now. He's back yeah. in the game. Okay. There. Quarterback roller looks to throw. Four wide. Hits one in the middle. Number 25 on the reception for the Rams, which is uh, Fletcher. You'll be hearing him a lot tonight. And on the play for the Tornadoes, a sure-handed tackle made by uh, Kevin Gooch. It's third and short for the Rams with 8.05 left in the first. Tornado's in a 3-3 defense look. Quarterback takes it, keeps it, goes off the left side, cuts it back up the middle. Uh, brought down by number 81, Jonathan Chavez. And somebody else was on the play too, but I didn't quite get that number, Gene. It's like Drummond's looking in the mirror here. This kid, he's, he's not quite as big as uh, Bryson, but he does the same thing, runs the football. He's like a running back playing quarterback. Oh, hey, what the pitch? He wasn't there. He got it back. Oh, man. Roller with the pitch. There's a miscommunication on the Rams part, and uh, he pitched to the – he pitched to Frosty the – the running back went the wrong, wrong way there, and he thought he was there and pitched it anyway. He pitched the Casper to Ghost on that one, didn't he? Yeah, we just missed getting a big break right there. That would have been great if we could have recovered that. I got him in deep, though. They're second deep. Second forever. Uh, Rollers looking for a play. They got it coming in. We're going with a two-man front. We're kind of sped out on the defense. Two-two. Uh, four. Backfield, for sure. They got four wide looking. He's got a little pressure on him. Steps up. Now he decides to run. And he's ah. going to take it. I thought he stepped out of bounds for a minute, but he didn't, I guess. Chase Flowers makes sure that he goes out of bounds. I, 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 first down, man. I apologize to everybody. I'm watching the game here, and I forget every now and then I forget to move that camera. So this is new for me. So we got 6:46 left in the first. Pass out to the flats. Number 12, the receiver. He's met with the host of Tornadoes. Kevin Gooch is one on the play with uh, uh, Jackson uh, Mock. So uh, that's enough for a Rams first down, I believe. It's first and goal for him. Uh, yeah, this this Borden, Borden, on the, Borden on the reception. This couldn't uh, be scripted any better for Regent. It couldn't be any worse for us at this time. He rolls to the right. Oh, nice tackle. Uh, Cole Gregory on the play for the Tornadoes. Second go, we need the fans and everybody else to get in on this right now. 
Let's go 12th. Let's go uh, ninth man. <laughs> uh, roller takes a snap, goes right up the middle, takes it to the right, and walks in. So. And he was not, I mean, he's not going to even have to wash his jersey if we keep that up tonight. So he's going to have to get, going to have to put it on him. They are, uh, what's happening right now, I believe, and you tell me if you think I'm wrong. They're actually going for an extra point, it looks like, a kick. Um, Rams have been able to uh, execute their offense the way they want to, right? I mean, they're getting people in open spaces and just having success that way. And when... When the place broke down, he's, he's, he's taken off, roller's taken off, done a good job, found the open field. 615 in the in I don't the know what the hold up is here. Rams on top, six to nothing, uh, going for the extra point. We don't see that often in eight man. Ball down, ball loose. <coughs> mishandled it, 25 now looks to throw it. He throws it almost complete, but there's good coverage by the Tornadoes on that breakdown by the Rams. Cole Gregory out there on the coverage for the Tornadoes. Um, well, that'll that'll, uh, that'll help because this is going to be a shootout every time we can hold them. That's a good thing. Yeah, Fletcher, uh, he, he mishandled that uh, snap a little bit. We'll take a break real quick. We'll be back with Tornado football on Scordle. Uh, Regent leads six to nothing phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service scordle.tv find out more at scordle.com slash stream at maples nixon diesel horse we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend and as a friend we've got your back always we understand what you're going through being lawyers is what we do but it's not all that we are we care we'll stand beside you throughout all right, welcome, welcome back, back to Tornado back Football. football. Regis about, about to kick off the drum right here. They kicked it deep last time. We'll see what happens this time. Yeah, uh, they, they seem to think that uh, they weren't afraid of uh, Bryson Kelly's return uh, ability, and they should be, because he can take it to the house anytime he touches. There's a, there's a little pooch kick. And uh, who's that that made that? Number three. Who is that? Hello, California. <laughs> Who is that kid? Conrad Reed. Downs it for the Tornadoes. Sure-handed play by Conrad. Uh, so That's a good smart play. Call that fair catch and get yep. down and get that ball. Yep. We apologize to the grandparents out in California for this echo. We cannot get this fixed. Tornadoes got trips right. And all the other viewers, we, we appreciate you guys. Jackson Bolton snaps it to Kelly. Kelly throws it out to the flats. It's not complete. Uh, it's a little low. Uh, drop, drop by Chavez there. Low, low throw. I know it's not going to be perfect for the Tornadoes tonight. They've had a lot to deal with this week, but we need to focus here and uh, start playing like we can. Yeah, and that might take a minute or two. They they dealt with more than any uh, student should have to. Kelly takes it, keeps it. He finds a little opening room, makes a move right there. Got a guy beat. Uh, made enough for the first down, Chief. That's a good start. Yep, that's, that's what we needed to get that first first down and then go from there. This, this game's going to be a shootout, guys, so we're going to have to uh, score with them. Uh, everybody we played, if they played, our scores have been almost the same. So when you take that into consideration, that's what this spells out. Kevin Gooch brings the play in, number 28 for the Tornadoes. We've got uh, Cole Gregory split out here in trips with, I uh, uh, can't see the other numbers right now. Uh, Chavez rolls out, pass is complete, or drop intended for Kevin Gooch. Uh, Bryson Kelly 
Do it after head time. Coach talk to him. Probably about, hey, let's, let's worry about us. Let's do what we do best, right, Gene? Yeah. I'm just trying to get him. Six on one, let's go in the first. It's a marathon, not a sprint, so we just we need to go out here and keep pounding away. Kelly takes a snap. Bryson looking for running room. Sure hand, a sure tackle out there by number 25 uh, for the Rams. Uh, Fletcher on the play brings up third and eight for the Tornadoes with 5.42 left to go in the first. I believe this is two down territory already and we're only in the first quarter, so. Most definitely. So we got third and eight. Uh, two split to the right. There's a little oh, ball. There's a little pick up five right there. We'll take that five yards every time. That'll be offsides on them. That bring up third and three, right? That third, a little over, yeah, third and three, isn't it? Good guess by me. Um, Kelly straight up the middle here. And, there, and there's the first down you're looking for, right? Yeah. Keep, keep the drive going. That's all right. Just keep it going. Keep moving the ball down the field. Match their score. That's, all, that's what we're looking for. I'm telling you, Tornado Nation at home, we, I've heard all week from a variety of people, they listen to it uh, when they get off work. They, they are so appreciative that the school has done this for them so they can see the games. 502 tornadoes first down. Kelly looks to throw. Oh, oh he's got nice it. pass. Chavez takes it, and he runs over a guy. He made a business decision. He ducked, and Chavez went right over the top of him. And that's that's the first sign of a real pulse, right, Gene? Yeah, that was a great play right there. For, good concentration for Chavez right there to haul that in, and then make a miss a tackle, and then get some extra yards. You can see a little step in them now. They they're coming out a little harder, coming out a little faster. They got a little. Momentum. Here we go. First and ten. Tornadoes. Uh, fake to Gooch. Kelly takes it. He's off to his side. Makes a guy break his ankle. Gets it down inside the five. And that's Bryson. He's pumped up. Bryson Kelly. Getting everybody pumped up. That may be Bryson. Got that guy's ankle. Broke that guy's ankle. <laughs> he put a move on him. Bryson has that kind of vision, too, where he sees where they are. He makes them break down, and then he cuts it. And that, that's just smart running, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a, you can we coach it, it, I guess, but I don't think it's that easy to coach. Yeah, we say it every week. You know, he's got the patience and the vision that most kids don't have, so we'll take advantage of it. Let's go punch this thing in. Really nice block by Willing on the corner there, on the, on the corner to let Bryson get around there. So we got first and ten ends knocking on the door. Bryson takes it up the middle, looks, cuts a little bit right, drags a few with him. He's in there. Bryson Kelly. Uh, that's the way to get the that's the way to get the mow going again right there. Good job by the offensive line. Get a good push there. Bryson got it in, saw the hole, took it in and scored. It's a big two-point conversion here for the tornadoes. Yeah. Every point you can get on this team, you gotta get. Uh, yeah, we gotta have this two points. I mean it's gonna matter in this game, but they don't get this big. Twins right, Kelly takes it, look, he's got a little room. He's still on his there. feet. Man, he will his way in there. He's in. He's in. That got it. Two-point conversion. Two point conversion. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know, I can't hear you. You can't hear me. We just keep yeah, we're trying. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> people. Uh, it's just. All right, that'll make the score. Drum right eight, region six. We'll be back to the kickoff in just a minute. You're listening to Tornado Football on Squirtle. The entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. 
We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. All right, welcome, welcome back to Riddle Field. Tornadoes lead Region 8-6 to six with 4.08 left in the first quarter, Tony. Yeah, that's what we needed. That's a shot in the arm we needed uh, with 4.08 left to go in the first. We got Cole Berry uh, teeing it up. Uh, back deep for the Rams. Can't get the number, I'm sorry. It's an onside kick. Uh, Rams recover, uh, 53, recovered for the Rams. You're going to hear his name a lot. Uh, Berg, he's a good player for them. And uh, 52, also uh, very active for him on defense, Phillips. Uh, so Roller is our quarterback, and he his stats are gaudy, aren't they, Gene? Yeah, we just we got to do a better job this series of making sure that he, he knows we're there and, and maybe put a lick on him here to get his attention. But... Well, they just stop him key on it. Yeah, and they also get the ball. Sometimes they'll get rid of the ball really quick, so I don't know. But here we go. Handoff goes off to the right side. Boy, guy breaks the tackle. Uh, looks like Jackson Bolton. Looks like uh, Jackson Mock uh, in on the play. I, I don't know. Maybe uh, Owen Gray was in on that, too. Uh, brings up second and eight, second and seven for the Rams. Be nice, be nice to get a get stop right here. Roller looks to throw to his left. Oh, oh. we step in front of good, good pass. Defense uh, over there uh, by Chavez, right, Gene? Yeah, he made a good job. Ball went tipped up in the air, and we didn't have a tornado in the area. We could have got a turnover right there. So, And I'm sure we mentioned this earlier, but these turnovers are going to make a big difference in this game. So hopefully we can get a couple of those. Roller takes a snap on third down, rolls to his right. He's looking for running room. He doesn't get enough for the first. He's brought down by number 28, Kevin Gooch. Also out there on the play, Cole Gregory. Uh, Roller, uh, boy, he makes the most out of nothing, doesn't he? Yeah, he got the first down, too. 6'2", 180, uh, very athletic. There's a flag down on the play, Gene. Oh, I like that. I didn't see the yeah. dirty laundry. Yeah, it kind of snuck up. It came out of nowhere. Uh, that's going to be a holding call, I'm guessing. Right, Gene? Yeah, I think so. We're moving them back 10 from the spot of the foul. Still bring up third down. Well, in a game like this, those are big. And, uh, yeah, that's a break we needed. Let's take advantage of it. Get these guys off the field. They're going to probably go for it on fourth down if they don't make it here, which they hope they don't. they got third and about 20. Or we should be able to stop them here. Third and forever. Roller takes a snap, takes a handoff. Woods got time. Airs it out, down the sidelines, got a man open, couldn't hang on. Out of the coverage, uh, Jonathan Chavez. And that pass was intended for, what's that number? Well, well once again, I got caught watching the game and didn't move the camera, so you guys Okay, might. number 20 was the intended receiver, uh, McGuire, for the Rams. And uh, Chavez was on the coverage. And he did a great job of covering for most of the play. But you can see they've got speed. They've got team speed. So we got to get some heat on them when they want to do that. And they're going to try it again. Here he goes. Drops back. Roller looks deep. Throws it. And there's Mr. Chavez. He's got the interception. That's probably his fifth or sixth of the year. Right, Gene? Yeah, that's a great play. He knew he was going to have to throw it deep. And Jonathan made the good play right there. He is he is an interception magnet, boy. And he is. They, they, they surely seen get of that, right? Huh? I hate not being able to hear you, don't you? Yeah, I, know. I love this thing. But that, it hurts. It's making it tough on us. But uh, I think there's that turnover we were talking about. Yeah, and they keep, they keep, they kept trying to go to Chavez, and surely they've seen how many interceptions he has this yeah. year. Yeah. Okay, tornadoes break the huddle. They got, they got wide receivers to the right. Uh, takes a snap. Uh, Kelly keeps it. He's got runner room. There he goes, makes another cut, and uh, wow, what a run by uh, Bryson Kelly, and that, that doesn't get you far enough, nothing real, right? 
Uh, tribute, tribute to the offensive line here. Uh, they're doing some work up there, right? Yeah, yeah. offensive line. Always getting a push up there. Get, all he needs a little bit of crease there, and he can make it happen. And that offensive line's doing a good job up front. Man, I'm telling you. He, they do. They just need to. Uh, Gooch, Amok, Kelly, all of them to run the ball and our skill players. They just need a crease. But these guys sometimes blow people right off their, put them on their back. There goes Kelly, throws it out to Gregory. Gregory makes a move on a guy, makes him break his ankle trying to get him, but he doesn't. Uh, makes one miss. And, uh, nice move right there by Cole Gregory to get some extra yards. That young man's always, always trying to get that extra yard after the catch. Yeah, number 10, Smallwood on the play for the Rams, and he did do a good job of getting out of those extra yards. Um, that's something that we've seen early in the year on the Tornadoes, not going down on first contact. And really, it's, it's been a theme through the whole year. So they break the huddle on second and six here with uh, 250, uh, 224 left. Kelly takes it to his right, pitches it out. Gucci has got it, looking for running room. And he's just met with a host of uh, Rams out there on the plate for the Rams, number 53. And uh, that I told you, you can hear a lot about that young man the whole game. And that's uh, not, a, not a lot of room there for Kevin to go. Mason got Berg. what he could. Mason Berg and uh, number 52, uh, Tucker Phillips. Brings up third down uh, for the Tornadoes. Kelly takes a snap from Bolt, uh, Jackson Bolton. He, he breaks one tackle, still looking, uh, gets everything he can, and I believe that's enough for a tornado first down, isn't it, Gene? Yeah. Uh, once I look up, I'll tell you. Yeah, I think it's first down. <laughs> you know, you're juggling over there. <laughs> yeah, he knew where it was, or he wouldn't have stepped out of bounds. And uh, that's just his personality. He may be playing quarterback, but he's got a he's got a linebacker mentality at quarterback. Oh yeah, running back, linebacker. Uh, he's not afraid of that contact. Uh uh. He met none he didn't like. So here we go. Tornadoes with another first and ten. Uh, takes a snap of Bolton, looks to throw out to the right. Pass was intended for Chavez, number eighty one. Looked like Jermike ran. Small Ray Gregory downfield to try to open that up. And Chavez is out there in the in the flat, but didn't didn't connect that time. Yeah. Small world out on the coverage for the for the Rams. You got 201 left to go in the first uh, tornado. I'm sorry, I got lost on the 
play. We're trying to do multiple things up there, and I apologize. So, uh, Lola took the uh, play. He took the ball to the right, uh, seeing the opening, and, and cut it back towards the middle of the field and scored for the end. Um, Two points conversion run successful, run number 12, Seth Borden. So 51 seconds left to go in the first. You got Tornado Bay and Regent Prep ran 14. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma A career tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by career tech.
Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. Oh, 
pass of coach number 81, Jonathan Chavez, defending with Caden and Fletcher. Gain of about 15 on the play. That's another tornado. Touchdown! Push down at the 31 yard line. We're going to call pass interference on that one because uh, Cole would have had an arm about six foot long if, they, if that was going to be pass interference, right, Gene? He'd had an arm. He would have had the arm about six foot long. I keep forgetting that I, my partner can't hear me, and I can't hear him. So uh, we apologize. We hope that you can hear us a little bit. Now we're old, and we're standing right next to each other. Can't hear each other. So. I know it. Uh, we we called to have this checked on. Uh, Gene, well, I say we. Uh, Gene's called to have this checked on about uh, five times. So uh, we just keep trying to find an answer for it. <clears throat> we apologize. At least you can see the game. So, yeah, well, Kenny, I don't know about that. I'm running the camera, so. <laughs> we're, we're, this is the first time we've had to do everything, or Jinx had to do everything. I just talked. So, we got we got uh, Chavez out to the right, and uh, Kelly takes it, looks to the run, off to changes directions, goes off to his left. Now he puts up, cuts it upfield. Great vision by, by Bryson Kelly, and a good open field tackle by the Rams, number 12, uh, Morton. Uh, yeah, he didn't have anything there in the middle, Tony, so he decided to kick it out. That's a first of ten for the Tornadoes with 10.52 left to go in the second. Uh, we're knocking on the door here, so we got to keep that up. Uh, again, the line did a great job of, of giving Bryson Kelly uh, time to throw. Kevin Gooch checks in the game for the Tornadoes and brings the play in on first and ten. Chavez split out to the right. Gooch to the left. Mock in the backfield with Bryson Kelly. Uh, Cole releases over the middle, tight end, and oh, he was there. They were throwing a little bit behind him, and, and they got the interception. Um, Cole released from that tight end spot, Gene. Uh, Cole was on the tight end and went right down the middle, and he was open there for a while. The pass was just a little bit behind him. Yeah, just a little late, too, so they, they made the pick on us. We talked about these turnovers, and we've got two so far. And, we're down, so those turnovers make a difference. So let's try to get one here and get that back. First time, uh, Chase Creekmore checks in the game for the Tornadoes, and Owen Gray, Owen Gray comes out, gets a breather. So Rams are split wide. They've got receivers all over the place. They're looking to throw. Quarterback. Uh, Roland takes it. Now he's trying to run, get some running room out of it. Uh, Cole Gregory steps up here and makes a good good open field tackle on him for a short, for a short game. Yeah, Cole made a good play. This kid's hard to tackle. He's their version of Bryson Kelly. So <clears throat> They've got Bryson on, on defense now. They're changing up a little bit, it looks like. Uh, he's out there in coverage now. So, uh, pass out to the flats, roller threw it out there, uh, makes a few tackles, uh, maybe enough for a first down, looks like they're moving the chains. So, we gotta do a better job of getting that guy to the ground, we've got an opportunity. Creekmore, Blowers, and Gooch out there for the Tornadoes. Number 18 was on the reception uh, for the Rams. Uh, number 18 is Tyler Hilton, and uh, we, I've read a lot about Tyler. Uh, he's made a lot of catches for the Rams. So we, we might be seeing a lot of him. He looks like they got trips out to the right or left and uh, one receiver to the right on the widest side of the field. Roller takes a snap, looks to the right, one-on-one -on -one coverage. And he is met immediately by Cole Gregory. Cole Gregory just come up and said, hey, no more. Good, no boss. That's a good open field tackle there by Cole. <laughs> Coming up and filling that position. I bring up what third? Is that second down? Second down? 
Pass was complete to right, brings up second down and seven with 8.45 left to go in the second. Roller takes a snap, looks, throws out the flats, pass complete. Makes one guy miss, he's brought down uh, around the 39 yard line, but Jonathan Chavez on the play, that's enough for them, a first and 10. And this, this trend's got to stop, right Gene? Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to do a better job of stopping them here. Okay, Roller mishandles the snap, still looking on his feet. Throws it out to the flats. He's bet immediately. I'm guessing that's by Cole Gregory. I don't know. Number seven, that's who's been out there chroming that sidelines like a shark. Yep, that's Cole. Uh, Cole's been busy this first half. Yeah, they've been testing him. He's been answering. He's passing that test. But we got second down and nine for the Rams. 8.06 left to go. Roller takes the snap, rolls to his left. He, he's got a good block there. Now he cuts it back in. He's met. He's tackled on the play. Jonathan Chavez, also number one, Bryson Kelly. Looks like we're going to get him every time, and then he gets about four more yards. So. Yeah, he's, he's a talented runner. Uh, third a little over one. Uh, tornadoes go with the two-man front, kind of a two-two-four. Uh, again, trying to stop those. We've got a timeout drum right here. We're going to take a quick break with them. We'll be back with tornado football in just a minute. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Uh, we're back here at Little Field, third, third and a half a yard, a yard and a half, I guess, for region. Roller takes a snap, goes up the middle, got some running room. Bryson Kelly on the play for the Tornadoes. That's good enough for a, a Rams first and ten. Uh, you got two teams here that are equally yoked, and uh, so far the only thing keeping people out of the end zone is uh, self-inflicted wounds, sort of speak. Right, Gene? Yeah. There we go. That's a good play by the Tornado defense there. Surrounded him. Takes the village and we got him down there. No gain on the play. Hilton on the, Hilton on the reception for the Rams. Uh, second and 10 for the Rams with 6.50 left to go in the second. Oh, he got some running room. He still is falling his blockers, and he just takes it right there. He just gets down and says, I got enough. Uh, on the play for the Tornadoes, number one, uh, Bryson Kelly. That may have helped him make that decision that he had enough running, that, that he made enough yards already. I'll just go down right now. Bryson was kind of standing around there. Uh, he picked up seven yards on that play, so... There's a pass out to the flats. There's a tackle out there on the play. Cole Gregory, number seven. Uh, 
That's going to bring up a fourth down and one, or no, two yards for the first down for them. We need to our neck right here. Bow it. Borden on the reception that, that time for the Rams. Uh, fourth down. Uh, this is where the ninth man needs to get loud. It's not 12th man and 8th man, it's ninth man. So we got a uh, receiver split out to the left. Roller takes a snap. He's automatically going to run with it up the middle. Uh, and there they go. They got the first and 10. He's going to get it easily there. Yeah. That was an easy decision for him. Chase Briars is on the play for the Tornadoes, number nine. First and 10 for the Rams. Throw out to the flats. That's her favorite play. And he's met immediately uh, out there on the play. Bryson Kelly, number one. Borden, the receiver for the Rams now. It's second and nine with 5.05 left in the second. He looks to throw. Now Roller looks, steps up. Uh, didn't, didn't, didn't get out of that traffic jam. Uh, got brought down. And uh, on the play, Owen Gray, who had a big game, uh, last game the Tornadoes played, Owen put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. So, yeah, we're going to have to continue to do that. Third and nine for the Rams. Quarterback goes up the middle, just walking. And then all of a sudden, well, he met some adversity. Uh, Bryson Kelly uh, on the tackle. So fourth and short again. So we don't have the answer to that quarterback run up the middle yet. No, nope. we better find it. Here we go. We got three men front. We got one a linebacker. Uh, Roller takes it. He's not as good at yards that time. Maybe probably enough for the first down. But he's met by a host of tornadoes on the play. It's first down region. We just need a little something to spark us here. We seem a little bit down. We need to get a little spark going here. Uh, Bolton, Chavez, and Kelly all on the stop for the Tornadoes. They take it, they look. Roller's throwing up. I believe it was. I believe it was caught. Yeah, number 18. I think that's Hilton, isn't it? Hilton, yeah. Hilton on the play. Second and four with 346 in the second. Tornadoes eight, Rams 14. Rams got receivers split out to the left and single to the right. Uh, roller looks, takes it off to the left, breaks a shoestring tackle and walks in. No flags on the play, tornado, uh, Rams, touchdown. 319 left to go in the second. That was, I'm sure they'll go in at halftime and they'll find the answer to that uh, quarterback up the middle thing. Um, I hope so. It's a, uh, it's almost, you know, they, they're a passing team. They love to pass the ball. They love to get that quick pass out and everything. But this has almost turned into their bread and butter. No, he's a handful. And it's not expected. But, I mean, I, I did not think if you were telling me that the quarterback would run the ball up the middle for the Rams and have success, that that would be the story. So, got quite a few people up <laughs> trying to decide whether the two-point conversion was any good. I haven't seen a signal yet. It's a mystery. And we're all talking about it. We're all thinking about it. We don't have a hand yet. When I oh, you can take it on the kickoff. They have a penalty against uh, uh, Regents for helping the runner, but uh, they didn't get in anyway, so they said to decline it. So we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with Tornadoes football after this.
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career... All right, we're All right, back we're at Riddlefield here. Regents is going to kick off Tornadoes here with 319 left in the half. We need to go out here and score here before halftime, which would be a big momentum builder for the second half once we make some adjustments. Right set to kick the ball for the Rams. He's gearing, looks like he's gearing up to go to this side again. Sure enough, not going to go 10. There's the flag. We're going to get good foot position to start the, start the drive here. We're going to be inside region territory at, the, at their 49-yard line. Yeah, and, um, you know, that we'll should take, be plus five. We'll take everything we can get right now. Um, Need to go five here. <laughs> Should Are be a five-yard penalty on top of that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they're, they're a little confused, aren't they? Yeah, but I'll help them out. They do. You think they do it for a living? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got that five-yard penalty. Thank, thank you, White Hat. You'd come over and tell me. Okay. All right. We're, into, we're at the 43-yard line, which is great field position. All right, this is going to matter with 319 left. Kelly takes the snap and bolt, rolls to the right, cuts it back up to the left. And he gains about what, Gene? Six? Uh, I five? Not, I think he got about five, yeah. This is, the best, uh, this is the best defense we've seen all year. They've done a good job on Bryson so far. So I'll take that, I'll take that five every time, though. Chase Creedmoor checks in the game for the Tornadoes. Uh, when Chase comes in on offense, it's usually a fullback type uh, play. Uh, let's see what see what happens. Chase goes right, gets a good block. Kelly cuts it in. Uh, gain of about four, three uh, on the play for the Tornadoes. So, uh, gonna bring up about third and four here. Uh, camp on the play for the Rams. Uh, Bryson Kelly uh, followed that block from uh, Chase Creekmore and uh, cut it inside and cut back out. Uh, it's going to bring up third and four. I mean, you, you know, you kind of knew going in this game, you won the game, as every game, but I mean, you want to keep short yardage on third down. You got you to have it manageable. Well, this is definitely four down territory. Though. Yeah. So we got twins out to the right. Uh, Kelly takes a snap from Bolton. Looks to gain. He's got, the, he's got enough for the first and 10. Just good, hard running by Bryson Kelly. Uh, rolling himself for a first and 10. He had a little bit of a crack there uh, that the offensive line made. Uh, but, but he had to earn the rest of it. He did with 143 left to go in the second. Uh, We don't want to get in too big of a hurry because we don't want to give them a chance to get the ball back. Go down and score from time running out. It would be great. The 129 left for the Tornadoes with the first and 10. Twins split out to the right. Kelly takes a snap. A little trouble with it. He just makes a smart decision and falls on the ball, Gene. Yeah, he, nothing he can do there. A the little old snap. Just make sure we got the ball. And that's a rare, And that's a rarity. Uh, we don't have that. We haven't had very many bad snaps this year at all. Knock so, on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. You can use my head if you want to. So, uh, 
Tornadoes break the huddle, second, 13, with 57, 56 uh, seconds left. Twins to the right. Kelly looks to throw. Got lots of time, now he takes off. They closed it, they closed that window really quick. That was a good defensive play by number 53 uh, for the Rams. Uh, Mason, Mason Berg on the stop. So Mason did a really good job of coverage, uh, staying, playing his position. Drum Rock's going to take a time out here, Tony. We're going to take it with him. We'll be back. Tornado football in just a second. Paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with... All right, we're back at Riddle Field with 38 seconds left before halftime. Tornadoes trail 20 to 8. They've got the ball third and 17 at the uh, Regent Prep 38-yard line. I'd like to see him go back. I, I think Cole Gregory is a tight end again, and that's the play that got intercepted, but I'd like to see him run that again. He was open for a long period of time. I'd like to see him run that one more time right here. Uh, Regis is going to take one of their timeouts, so we'll stay right here. Uh, Drum Mike uh, needs need to punch this in right here to get some momentum before the halftime. Uh, I don't know, Tony. It's just we can't allow them to get any further ahead. No, we've seen this scenario with teams that we felt like we were equal, equally yoked with, and then we went, we got up, and and they went into halftime. Uh, you know. 15 down, whatever, and then it just snowballs. So we want to we want to stop that trend. Well, the, the thing about it is we haven't faced this type of adversity all year, so we'll see how we respond. Yeah, and uh, out there uh, we found out that uh, the last game that we announced, with so many people was wanting to watch uh, tornadoes, and so many people got to thank thank the administration for that. There's over 900 viewers on that last game. And uh, that's pretty good for a, a Class B school, right? Absolutely. Class B, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. So here we go. Kelly takes a snap, looks to his right. Here it is. I got the man open out there. Uh, 52 Phillips on the coverage for the Rams. Pass was complete to number 81, uh, Jonathan Chavez. And uh, so now we got 25 seconds left, 24 clocks ticking. Uh, fourth down. got out of bounds there. Fourth down and 16. Uh, Kelly is going to take a snap. There he goes. Takes it. Looks. He's eyeing him. He looks. Uh, there's got to be a flag down. Blown, play blown dead. I'm sorry. All right. We got a timeout. Kelly's still running. Surely we're going to put some put some time back on the clock. Aren't we? We'll see here. All right. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back in just a second. What was that? phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. All right, we're back at Riddle Field here. It's going to be fourth and seven for the Tornadoes with 14 seconds left before halftime. Tornadoes have twins to the left. Kelly looks, releases the ball out in the flash. Pass is complete. Looks like he got out of bounds to uh, Jonathan Chavez. That's a pretty good out of bounds, Tony. Nine, Nine seconds left to go in the second. Kelly goes under right center. Here. Yeah, he's clocking it. Just no, he, no, 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 I just killed it. 
So seven seconds left in the half. Tornadoes with a first and ten. Pass was complete to Jonathan Chavez. And Jonathan got out of bounds, I believe, didn't he? Jim? No, he didn't get out of no, bounds. That's why he did not. That's why he clocked it. We got, uh, you know, I, I still want to go back to that play with Cole Gregory. And they, well, they got him going out to wide receiver, but when he was at tight end and they hit him on that spot, he was open for days. Are you saying you want to go see that play again? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Kelly. Drop back, got a little pressure. Throws it. Oh! Pass was intended. Looking for some interference there. But yeah. Call. Chavez was the intended receiver. Um, Going to bring up third and ten with three seconds. This will probably be the last play of the half. Tornado's having one more shot for it. This needs to make sure it gets past the first down marker. Of course, it's not going to matter because they're going to run out. So we probably need to go to the end zone right here, Tony. Right. Well, whatever. Uh, we're going with the same formation, though. Uh, twins to the right. Uh, Gregory and Chavez out to the right. Uh, Kelly under pressure steps up. Good job by him. Floats it in there. It was a 50-50 ball. Good coverage by the Rams. And the pass was falls incomplete. Uh, that's going to end the half with tornadoes down for the first time this year, 20 to 8 at halftime. Need to make some adjustments, and uh, we'll try to make some adjustments for the audio here. Have a little discussion between the coach and the officials about that no interference call. Yeah. All right, well, we'll go to halftime. We'll try to get everything fixed. We'll be back with Tornado football in about 20 minutes. You're listening to Tornadoes on Scordo. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech.
it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service scordle.tv find out more at scordle.com slash stream at maples nixon diesel horse we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend and as a friend we've got your back always we understand what you're going through being lawyers is what we do but it's not all that we are we care We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. One high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. 
Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nix, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training, skilled, and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples, Nixon, Deuce of Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nix, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com.
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. 
For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Diesel Horse works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical... All right, we're back here at Drumright Riddle Field. Uh, I think we've got our technical issues taken care of. At least I can hear Tony and he can hear me, so... <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll get ready to start the second half here. Uh, Tony, what adjustments you think we need to make here? Uh, well, for the first time, really, all this this whole year, we get to talk about adjustments. And I'll, I'll say what I think, and I'm going to let you throw it out. Uh, we we've got to stop Roller, the quarterback, from just rolling up the middle at will whenever they want. Whenever they want. I see what you did there. Roll up the middle. Yeah. Okay. And so, uh, uh, got to stop roller from rolling. Uh, and I don't know. I'll give you something else. What else? Uh, we need to tackle well, and uh, we need to make sure we have contact before he makes about three or four yards down the field. That's there for a while. He, he was getting five or six there without even getting touched. So we we need to make an adjustment on defense. On offense, we need to. Uh, change up some things because obviously they're keying on Bryson, so we've got to get other people involved. We've got to get Kevin involved, Kevin Gook. We've got to get Jackson Mock maybe involved too, So, and uh, maybe they won't key so much on Bryson. Yeah, we talked about in, in pregame, we said, you know, earlier in the year we've seen, uh, for instance, we've seen Kevin Gooch go to quarterback, Bryson go to, to tailback, and that, that's an option to, to run or pass right there, uh, which would help keep them a little bit more honest do you think or? yeah I, I do i mean we'll see what happens here but i i trust coach ellerick's experience yeah, here and the way chance for him to make adjustments and and uh we'll see what he comes up with because we need to hold him right here we we don't we don't need uh, to get behind here but much more we won't be able to come up come back because we never had to do it not saying we can't we just haven't had to no, this tornado team is is 
is solid, and uh, they, they, they've they got the ability to come back if they want. So kicking off for the Tornadoes, uh, Cole Gregory had a really good night, busy night out there at corner. Uh, he's come up and made some sure stops, but like we were talking about, maybe after four or five yard uh, completion. So onside kick. Get there 10 yards. Oh, we got a little scramble. I believe they've recovered it. I believe the Rams come up with it. Uh, number 40 on the play for the Rams. Uh, Caleb McNeil on the recovery for the Rams. So they'll take over uh, just shy of the 50. We'll see what happens here on the quarterback here. Going to go empty right off, Tony. Yeah, they are. They're going. Uh, everybody spread out. Uh, thank you. I just got a. Text from my wife saying, sounds much better. Gene, that's all, the credit all goes to Gene. So Roller takes the ball, flips it out in the flats. It is complete. He puts a move on one guy, uh, makes him miss, and then he's brought down uh, by, I believe, number 81. This Chavez he's, he's way over the play. There. Uh, Roller. Looks again, got all day, throws over the middle, passes intercepted. That's what we were talking about. That's what we need. Kevin Gooch looking for running room. Get a block. He's got, he's got it. He, oh, he takes a good hit right there. Uh, Roller tried to put a hit on him, but Gooch lowered his shoulder and put it on him. And that's what we were looking for. That's the turn we needed, right? I think the that's a, I, I, we talked about having a spark there in the first half. And, and uh, that may be what we need to get us started here. Yeah, Kevin Gooch, man, uh, came up big time. Hey, shout out to uh, Principal Coach Bray down there. He's walking the walking the bleachers. <laughs> yeah, he. he this is a big series, Tony. He's down there getting the student body worked up, isn't he? Yes, he is. Principal Bray. So, anyway, Tornadoes break the huddle first and 10 after the intercepting from Kevin Gooch and the Tornado defense. Uh, Bryson Kelly at quarterback. Uh, takes off to his right, gets a gap, uh, gets about four. Um, had a little bit of a crease there in the line. Uh, Owen Gray, uh, Jackson Bolton, uh, some of those guys making a little bit of a, a hole up front, and uh, he took advantage of it. I will give the Rams a ton of credit on tackling. This is the best tackling team we've seen all year. Yeah. Yeah, whenever you be able to tackle Bryson with one person, you've done something. So. Yeah, thanks to Gene for working with Squirtle and getting this uh, where we can hear one another and we're not echoing to the crowd. So appreciation for Gene and Squirtle both. Uh, Tornadoes was second and seven with 10.44 left to go in the third. Kelly takes a snap, looks to go to his left. And... That's a, these are hard guys to block. They've got uh, two guys up there, 50-53, uh, always uh, hard to block for the Rams, uh, Camp and Phillips. Those guys are are active. And uh, I can tell you this, I mean, watching them, uh, I can tell why everybody's high on this team with Regent. So they play pretty good defense. So. Everybody gets around the ball on their team. Cole Gregory runs out here with Chavez to the left, twins left. Uh, Mock in the backfield with Kelly. Third down, seven, takes a snap from, not yet he doesn't. <laughs> a little advice from coach. Takes a snap from Bolton, Kelly takes off to the left, looking for run room, has a little bit, makes his own, puts his head down, pushes and pulls, and he's really close, but I don't think he's uh, right he's gonna there. He's going to be about a half yard short, I believe. Yeah, great effort. Great effort by the Tornadoes and Bryson Kelly. Uh, Owen Gray, Jackson Bolton, uh, Tanner Willing, uh, Jonathan Chavez in, in the group. Uh, good job up there blocking. We need to block one more time here and get this here half is. yard. Coach sends the play in, play in with Bryson Kelly. Got an official's time out here. We wouldn't have called our timeout if we knew they were going to do that, would we? Oh, they're not <laughs> calling timeout. He's, he was trying to ask for a measurement. Oh, okay. Well, it looks about right. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what they're what they're debating about. The clock's not running. 
Well, it is running now. <laughs> so they they break the huddle and the clock starts running. Oh, uh, that's awesome. crazy. This is pivotal right here. We got to push for it. Got to get it. Oh, uh, by look. I don't know if they got it, but Jackson Bolton just demolished his. Man. Yeah, they're giving him the first down here. Yeah. He got the push. They thought they had a fumble, but the play was already down. So, <laughs> first down for the Tornadoes there. It's. Should the clock be running? Yes, the clock should okay. be running. So on a, okay. Nothing's went out of bounds or anything. Right, pass. right. I got you. Well, Chavez catches the ball thrown from Bryson Kelly. Jonathan Chavez, the receiver, uh, out there on the play. Uh, number five, uh, Brookover for the Rams. Also out there was uh, number 53, uh, Bird. So the second nine for the Tornadoes. This camera's even cold. My feet are cold, but this camera's <laughs> even cold. Yeah, the you know district play brought on 50-degree uh, temps, didn't it? Went from 90 to 50 in one day. Uh huh. Well, second nine here for the Tornadoes. This is a big play here. Kelly takes a snap. Got plenty of time. Looks, throws. Got her man. Mock had it. Uh, Jackson. Jackson Mock had, was an intended receiver with 8.30 left to go in the third. Uh, still third down and nine for the Tornadoes. Yeah. Got a. I was hoping he could haul that one in. Get a chance to make a play. We still got third down and nine here. Tony inside their territory. But what is the 37? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, we... Uh, that was, a tie, that was a close one. So, Tornadoes break the huddle. We got Twins right. Uh, Gregory and Chavez out to the right. Mock in the backfield with Kelly. Kelly takes a snap, goes to his right, sees some running room, breaks a couple of tackles. What an effort. You seen the – somebody lost a shoe or – or is that just dug up turf? I think that's his towel, huh. Bryson's towel. Wow. Well, he – man, he put his foot in the ground and made a cut-up field for extra yardage. That's going to bring up – Fourth and six, right, Gene? Yeah, fourth I think six. It's just fourth and six here, and hopefully we've got a play dialed up that can get that yardage. After Jackson the after Mock. the after the interception, we kind of lost our momentum for some reason. So yeah. see if we can get it back here. We got Twins out to the left. Uh, Cole Gregory and uh, Chavez. Kelly's got time. Let's it go. Got the guy. Caught by Cole, Cole Gregory. Gregory. He's got the first down, Tony. That's right. Cole knew he had it, too. Uh, Borden out there on the coverage for the Rams. That was great. Watched the ball in his hands. That's the first thing he did, right? And then he decided to try to get some extra yardage. Yeah. That's a good job by Cole getting the first down, holding it in, getting his foot down, getting the first down. We break, break the huddle. Um, Twins to the left again, Chavez and Gregory. Uh, Gooch in the backfield with Kelly. Kelly looks, got got all day, uh, still looking. Rolls to his right, uh, got some running room, made a nice cut there, and brought down by a host of Rams, just, just short of the first down. Uh, it's going to bring up what, second and three maybe? Yeah, I, I got caught anticipating the pass there. Yeah. It was well, you're Cole, right. Cole looked good on camera there downfield, but... Tell you what, these guys are running the camera for us. They are, they are Jim. <laughs> sometimes they're doing all they can. Uh, Gene, running the board, running the camera. Seven minutes left to go in the third. Tornado second and four. Handoff goes to Kevin Gooch, and he tries to nice hard run, but he's brought down with a, a good tackle, number 53 for the Rams, uh, Mason Bird. Trying to run that off tackle there. Not had a lot of success in that area. No. I tell you what, these guys have scouted us pretty well. We uh again I 
I don't know if you tuned in late, but I'm just telling you this 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 is probably the game in the state. Uh, regional prep, depending on what newspaper you look at, it's anywhere from first to third, and then the tornadoes are anywhere from. Uh, I've seen uh, Max Prep had them fourth, and uh, anywhere from fourth to seventh. So tornadoes, uh, seventh, uh, third and four. We're going to kick. They're going to take a timeout here, Tony. We're going to take it with them. Yeah. We'll be back with tornado football on Scordal in just a minute and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at scordle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. All right, we're back at Riddle Field here. It's going to be third down and five for the Tornadoes. Just outside the 15-yard line. 6.05 left in the third. Kelly takes it off to the right side. Met pretty pretty quickly. It's going to be bring up fourth and two. Um, again, this is this is uh, region prep. You know, this is the Rams. They, they're going to tackle. They're going to team tackle. They're going to fill gaps. They're going to be tough to move. So. Yeah, and they're definitely keying on number one here. So Receivers out to the left, Chavez and Gregory. Creepmore doing blocking up there. Pass complete to Chavez. Jonathan Chavez on the reception for the Tornadoes. He got the first down and carried number 26 or 25 with him for the first down. Good job by Jonathan there, showing his power and getting that first down. He yeah, needed we, it. Yeah, and I think uh, for the Rams, Borden was on the coverage. Uh, did a good job of wrapping him up, making sure that he, he got enough for the first down. So this we'll is what we need. pretty successful tonight with those short passes. Right, yeah. So a little different look. Chavez split out to the right. Uh, handoff goes to Kevin Gooch. Off tackle. I'd like to see Kevin get on the outside and use his speed a little bit. 4.50 left to go in the third. Tornado's knocking on the door. Second goal. Yeah, like, get Kevin on the outside and let him, like you said, uh, use his God-given ability to turn the burners on. Kelly takes a snap, sees what he likes, cuts it up the middle. Woo, there we go. Tornado touchdown. Gene? Just what the doctor ordered. That helps a lot. Now we need, we absolutely, I, in my opinion, need this two-point conversion. It yeah, is serious. I'll say it again. We need every point we can against this team. So, yeah, every chance we got to put a point on the board, we need to do it. Uh, great job up front, getting that opening for uh, Bryson, uh, Kelly, uh, Willing, uh, Bolton, Gray. Looks to throw, hits his man, timing route. He got it. They hauled ding. it in. That's Chavez again. He, he's still open. He's still open, Tony. <laughs> he's still open for business. 4.30 left to third. Tornado 16. Rams 20. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back for the kickoff. You're listening to Tornado Football on Squirtle. Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. All 
right, we're back here at Riddle Field. Uh, drum right trails 20 to 16 now with 430 left in the third quarter. I got a little sign of life here for the Tornadoes. Yeah, and it started off with Kevin Gooch getting that touch, or getting that interception back on the 30, and then uh, returning it to midfield, and then uh, a lot of first downs. So uh, there's the onside kick by Cole Gregory. They recover it on the 50. Uh, Phillips recovers it for him, number 52. Um, So maybe we got a few answers uh, at halftime. I, I know I got a lot of faith in coach. I know that if they do what he asks and executes, it's going to be a better day. So let's see how they can execute the plan. A three-man defensive front. Snap goes to Roller. Roller looks to run. And again, he waits on his blocking, and he, he gets an opening and, and gets a first down and big yards for the Rams. Well, he comes out of the locker room and – Gets about 30 yards to begin the half here, so it's uh, he does an excellent job following his blockers. There's blocking up there. He's got a crease. Oh, we went for we went for a fumble there. Did you see that? Uh, Owen Gray got the tackle and and was trying to make him fumble at the same time. So uh, roller on the carry for the Rams brings up second ten. Roller following his blockers, looks to the left. Uh, he's met by Jackson Bolton, 6'5", 275. Chase Flowers in there on the assist. Yeah. Flowers a bit looks like he's choking out. It looks like he's shaking up pretty bad on the play. Uh, Chase Creekmore is going to come in for uh, Chase Flowers on that. Say, hey, buddy, come on over here and let me check you out. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> so Roller takes a snap, looks to his right. Come on, get off that block. Come on. Nope. He looks in trouble. He made a nice cut there, and he's brought down by uh, Cole Gregory on the play for the Tornadoes along with uh, Jack Jackson Mock and uh, Chase Creekmore, number 48. So uh, made the first man miss, and then he met three more. So they got the first and 10. Wide right, right left. Roller looks left. Pass is complete. Met out there by Chavez, Jonathan Chavez, and uh, he brought him down. They're trying to strip the ball, which is good play. They had him, had him cornered there and tried to strip him for the ball. Yeah, he knew he had him. He knew he had him tackled. He's going to go for that extra bonus, right? <laughs> but, uh, Pelton was on the reception, so that brings up second nine with 2:56 left to go in the third. Uh, roller rolls to his right, and uh, he's. A little bit better execution on the defense that time. Jackson Bolton out there uh, saying hello to him. And uh, Chase Willing also was out there. Yeah, it's the third down and seven, Tony. You know, it's four down territory for Regent. We just got to get him on this play. It'd be a big help for fourth down. Yeah, Farrington in at, at the running back position. Roller takes a snap, looks to his left. Now he pitches to Farlington, number 41. And he breaks fumble, fumble, fumble. And a fumble, and there's a flag, and I think the Tornadoes may have recovered that. Uh, they hit far. No signal yet. We don't have any signal. There we go. There we go. Uh, looks like Farlington's shaking up on the play as well. You know, uh, Farlington hadn't carried a lot, uh, the ball a lot tonight for the Rams, and so we, if you notice, we. They, the tornadoes have been trying to tackle and strip that ball. Yeah, we got it. We got an injury on the field. We'll, we'll take a quick timeout. Hopefully, this young man's okay. We'll check on him when we get back. You're listening to Drumright Tornado Football on DrumrightTornado.tv. <laughs> Train with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at scordlecom stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. 
We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. All right, we're back. The player walked off on his own power there, so that's a good sign for Regent. Uh, Jeremiah's going to take the ball first and 10. I think they're on, they're on their own eight-yard line, so... Yeah, 2.15 left to go in the third. Tornado 16, Rams 20. Tornadoes recover the fumble, and, the, and uh, I believe it was number 41. Uh, Farrington is okay, so we're glad to hear that he walked off underneath his own power. Tornadoes have the ball now with first and 10. We got trips to the right, Tom, or left. Trips, trips, oh, to, right. trips to the left. They're, they're left, or, or right. Oh, there's a nice open field run by Kelly. He breaks, makes a guy break an ankle. There's a flag down, I believe. Uh, big run, and where that flag came down at, we probably won't like it. But uh, Bryson Kelly, again, using his vision, uh, cuts back, makes about three guys miss. And now, had enough for the first down, but. The good thing about that, we're only going to go half the distance to the goal anyway, so we're not going to lose the full 10 yards. Right. But still, it's. Very unfortunate, though. Takes away a big play. I got some drum right fans out there refereeing. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Untimely, untimely flag call. I bring up uh, first and 15. Tornadoes break the huddle. Chavez split out to the right. Kelly takes a snap from Bolton, hands off to Mock or Gooch, I couldn't tell from this angle. It, it was Kevin Gooch, and uh, Kevin may have picked up three. I don't know if he got that many teeth. Yeah, I'm an optimist. <laughs> well, give him a first down, then. Ha <laughs> ha. So it looked like he gained three from what that marker said, Gene. So uh, that's going to be second and eight for the Tornadoes. Let's see what we can do here on second down. Just don't want to make a mistake here in our own territory. Jonathan Chavez split out to the right. 132 left in the quarter. Kelly has all day. Airs it out to Chavez. He catches it. He had a he had a, <laughs> a great kept his concentration on the ball. Not the guy tugging on his jersey. Uh, that was going to be a pass interference call. Should have been. But we don't take it. It's still a first down. Oh, now we got something else here. Well, I hope it's I hope that's not on us. We'll wait for the white hat to tell us what's up. That flag just now came back into orbit. He threw it up so high. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> He's pointing towards us, so I sure hope that's not we said something. Uh, yeah. What? 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 I think we got pass interference. Yeah, it, we knew that. <laughs> oh no, they what? got they got an ineligible receiver downfield. Oh. Mm. Well, well, in these big games like this, you wonder how many times that can happen, and you still have a shot at it, right? Well, yeah, I mean that's not a good that's not a good break for us, so. Let me ask you this. If you got an ineligible receiver downfield, but you got pass interference. Well, if they didn't call that, I don't think they called that pass interference. I think they was calling the, I don't know. I don't know. I don't talk bad about the officials very often, so. I know. But you were also, you were also in law enforcement, and I swear you could take your what, fingerprint. What they're, what they're saying is that he went out a bounce and was the first one to touch it coming back in. Well, if he goes out on his own, that's a foul. But if he's pushed out and comes back in right away, it's not a foul. So well, don't he, know exactly what happened there. He was pushed out because the guy was hanging on him. 123 in the third quarter, two, second and 17. Kelly keeps it you know, determined to gain some yards, and he did. But we're still looking at third long. I kept looking for a flag there. We got, you know, we didn't get 25 yards. We got one, but there was no flag there that time. 
Yeah, well, I said you were in law enforcement for a long time, too, and if you had a, a finger kit and you took it over, uh, Jonathan Chavez, that kid's, that kid's fingers would be all over it. You'd have a complete set of hand fingers and everything. Now, we got we got to shake that off and see if we can get 11 yards here. 40, 45 seconds left to go in the third. Tornadoes with a third and 11. Twins out to the left. Kelly takes a snap from Bolton. Looks, he's got a lot of time. Cross the middle. Pass is complete. To Cole Gregory. That's big be time for play. A first down. Hey, somebody has come up and answered on offense and defense tonight. Cole Gregory. Yes, he's played. He's had a he's had a good game tonight. That's Cole a great catch Gregory. going down and getting that, securing it, getting the first down. That's a big play by the Tornadoes right there. See if we can get a playoff before the before the end of the third quarter. Fourteen left. Kelly drops back. Looks got all day. Oh, Great job by the line. Fires it. Let's it go. Pass intended. That ah, here we go. There's the laundry. 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 All kinds of laundry. You got it, Cole. Just go on back, brother. You can tell him later. Yeah. Yes, sir. We're gonna have six seconds left after they mark off the fifteen yards and have a first down for the tornadoes here. Well, you know, if you're if you're the Rams <laughs> and you get a guy open like that, uh, uh, Cole Gregory open like that, and, and you've got two options. You're either going to intercept it or you're going to tackle it. Yeah. Because that's better than a touchdown. Yeah, in college or pro football, it's different. It'd be at the spot of the foul where the ball was placed. But in high school, it's only a 15-yard penalty. So. He'll take that over a touchdown. They will. I'd rather have the touchdown. Well, I mean, they would. <laughs> Uh, six seconds left to go in the third. Tornadoes with a first and ten. Kelly takes a snap, sees something he likes. Oh, brought down pretty close. He, uh, Phillips on the play. Uh, also, well, that's going to end up the end of the third camp, quarter, Tony. We're camp gonna... also on the play for the Rams. And that's the end, like Gene said, that's the end of the third quarter. So we'll come back and start the fourth quarter. And after this timeout, you're listening to Tornado Football on Scordal. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get. All right, we're back here at Riddle Field in Drumright, America. Uh, give a shout out to our buddy Blake Gibson from the city area watching tonight. All compliments. He he uh, he loves the field, T-Bone. He loves looks like looks like Augusta National. Blake Gibson. Oh yeah, you bet. All the way. Yeah, we appreciate Blake watching. 100%. Well, we're starting the fourth. Tornadoes break the huddle. Twins right. Kelly sees what he likes. Takes it up the middle. Good gain by Bryson Kelly and the Tornado offense. Uh, on the play, uh, number 52, Tucker Phillips. Phillips. Gene. Yep. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. I can see you too. You're up. <laughs> that's not. That's not to your advantage. <laughs> All right. Third and three for the tornadoes. Chavez out to the right. Kelly takes a snap. Cuts it back up. Grinding breaks a few tackles. 
not enough for the first, and he's extremely frustrated with himself about that. Felt like he should have picked it up, but he, I think he got all he could get out of it. Jay. You, you love that competitiveness in a player, though. We've seen a little fire from the Tornadoes this second half. It kind of slept through the first half, I think, and the second half they're a little bit more uh, pumped up and excited about this football game. You know, like we said before, you know, they've gone through a lot this week, so maybe it's going to take a little time to get this thing rolling again. Well, they've, they've had so much adversity, uh, not only in football, but in life right now. When 10.38 in the fourth, uh, here we go. Tornadoes, this could be a big first down pickup for him. Kelly takes a snap. He's determined. He bowls forward, and that's a tornado first down, Tornado Nation, right there. Yeah, it's a, it's a big run by Bryson. Good push by the offensive line up front. Did a good job of pushing, getting the first down. I don't know. It's a big drive for the Tornadoes here. See if we can go down here and score, keep going. Yeah, yeah, we we got to have this one. I mean, not a must with 10, 10 minutes left in the fourth, but, you know, we take it when you can get it, and we want it right now. Well, uh, as long as we keep it out of rollers' hands, we're in good shape. We'll just keep moving down the field. Look at look at their defense stacked up there. They got Gucci uh, quarterback. They got pitch right there. To, oh, man, Bryson Kelly, he took that pitch. He threw a stiff arm, and uh, he said, like, give me the ball, right? Call my number. He took 50 and just wore him out. <laughs> I tell you what, when you get a you get a handful of, or you get a Bryson Kelly going downhill, it's pretty tough to get in front of him, like we've said. And besides all that, it's a tornado first and 10. <laughs> yeah, Coach is pretty excited. He's yeah. talking to the officials a little bit, coaching and working the officials, doing what he's supposed to do, doing a good job as always. There we go, Gooch under center. Uh, new look for the Tornadoes, handoff to Jackson Mock. Oh, number 53, he's everywhere for the Rams. Um, Berg, Mason Berg. I like that play call. He just I think he needed to cut that up just a little bit, a little quicker. The second eleven for the tornadoes. Um, I tell you, uh, there's a couple of guys on this Rams team that if if you don't know where they're at, they're gonna hurt you. And uh, yeah, if you don't block that fifty three, business is gonna pick up. Berg, Phillips, and Camp, are, they're all over the place. Tornadoes with twins right. Bryson Kelly takes a snap. He's got all day. Looks to throw. Let's it go. Kevin Gooch, good hands, people. Touchdown, Tornadoes. Man, he burnt that guy. Um, I don't know how you get that open, do you? Uh, I think he made a nice move on that on that cornerback, and he got behind him, and it Throw was right on the money. Kevin hauled it in. Six for the Tornadoes right there. It was a needed score right there, Tony. Bryson Kelly laid it in the bread box. And uh, Kevin Gooch ate it up. Good blocking by the offensive line. Taking care of business. Ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly what we thought this would be. One of the outstanding high school football games. And it has not disappointed. Under center, under center, he pitches it back. Kevin Gooch pitches it, and he lowers his shoulder. And Bryson, Bryson Kelly will not be denied. He went in with an explanation point. And tornadoes yep. 24, Rams 20, with a 9-11 in the fourth. We'll be back for the kickoff after this. Game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorse works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. 
Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. All right, we're back here at Riddle Field. Drummond's going to kick off the region here with 9 11 left in the game. Your tornadoes are 24, Regent Prep 20. Yeah, and again, all that started with a turnover, right, Gene? Yeah, I talked about that. I knew it was going to be a, uh, you know, whoever got the turnover battle was going to win this football game. There we go, big leg. Jackson, Jackson Bolton puts it back there, uh, trying, to, trying to get him from getting good field position. And uh, he does a great job of weeding his way through there, and now it looks like that may come back to haunt us. Uh, number 12, Borden, no flags. That's not the answer we were looking for. No, he, uh, yeah, you want to try to pin him back deep, of course. And, uh, but, man, he did a good, he did a good job of going behind his blockers. Yeah, and, uh, we just got to stay in our lanes there. They got to the outside, and yeah, when he gets outside, it's Katie bar the door. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, let's, let's hold them here on this two-point conversion. That's going to matter right now. Rams 26, Tornadoes 24. Oh, they're going to kick it, T-Bone. Yeah, they're going to go for the they, – they like that. They're the only team that should. Yeah, <laughs> does I've the extra point. not seen it kick. Hopefully we like to block it. Jackson 6-5. Let's see if he can get a big paw on it. Effort was there. It was good. Well, that's good. We'll leave it here, Tone. But I'm telling you, that was not the answer we were looking for. I was hoping that we could keep the momentum there. But they, being the team that they are, this, these two teams are about even, and so it's going to be back and forth. So, it's uh, you know, you you kick it deep. We've seen that this year, uh, doing eight man games, doing Dermite games, and and you play, you know, you got apples to apples out here. And you kick it deep. It, it takes one breakdown, and uh, that's that's what's going to happen when you kick it deep a lot of times. But you got to try to every now and then when you think you're, you're, you you want to take some time off the clock. So you know if you onside kick it and you don't get it, they're going to get it. Half the field gone, right, Gene? Yeah, it's. I, I don't know. I'd, I'd I'd rather see them do a pooch kick over here, or really just kick it out of bounds if they want to at the thirty yard line. Just yeah, they, they were real successful last week uh, or the two, uh, three weeks ago when we were home with the pooch kick, you know, hitting it down there about to 30, kicking it over the front line, letting it drop in. Uh, we had a lot of success with that. Uh, but we'd have loved it if he got tackled down there on the 15. We'd have loved it, wouldn't we? Yeah, but ifs and buts and candy and yep. nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas, Amen wouldn't we? Amen to that. So just like that, if you went to the if you went to the ice box to get one of your favorite beverages, or <laughs> you blinked, uh, we got a tight ball game. Did you say tie or tight? Tight, tight, tight ball game. Yeah, you're right. I knew it was going to be this way, didn't you, T-Bone? You knew it was going to be tight. Yeah, I thought it. I thought the final score might be uh, like like we said earlier. I think the final. I thought the final score might be something like 52 to. 51. But yeah, I uh, predicted 66-60, so I'm yeah. not very smart when it comes to projections, I guess. Yeah, I know. Me neither. That's why they That's why they play it. Wright's kicking off for the Rams. It's going to be an onside kick, and uh, Tornadoes recover it on the uh, 48. Can't right, I can't see who recovered it right now. Number two. Number two, Luke Allen for the Tornadoes. That was a tough play. Luke made it look Luke's easy. Just, yeah, Luke's just walking down there like he does it every day. <laughs> See him down there? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I did. That's why they put me out there. <laughs> I got the good hands. 
8.52, Bryson Kelly takes a play in. Let's see if we can't answer their, their answer. What do you say? Agree. Wide receiver split left. Kelly sees what he likes off to the right side. Makes a great cut. Guy breaks his ankle. Still on his feet. Kelly puts his shoulder down. Runs over the tackler. And picks up enough for a tornado first down. Out there, we give credit to uh, Fletcher for the tackle. But uh, really, uh, he, he just, uh, Kelly uh, was off balance from somebody else trying to tackle him. And lowered his shoulder and went out of bounds. So, great effort there. Uh, seen something he liked off the right side of that line. And uh, oh, Bryson, he, he looks like he's been in a little bit of a war tonight, doesn't he? Yeah, I've said this before about about that young man. I, I hope I hope his dad and him's got invested in a hot tub because <laughs> he sure needs one, that and a big ice pack, right? Yeah, absolutely. 825, Tornadoes with a first and 10. Split left. Fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, uh, cuts it back up inside a little bit. Uh, blocking over there was uh, Tanner Willing, uh, doing a good job. Cole Gregory um, also trying to get a block, uh, and uh, Owen Gray. So uh, I think they're going to give Bryson a break here. No, I think he's just taking the play. He just bent over. Okay. Yeah, because Kevin came out too, and if Bryson isn't taking the snaps, Kevin does. So. So Jackson Mock came in, uh, replaced Kevin Gooch. Tornadoes with a second and three. 7.44 left to go in the quarter in the game. Uh, Sanchez put out to the right by a man offensive line. Handoff goes to uh, Jackson Mock, and he's met quickly by number 50. Uh, lost, lost the yard there, it looked like. This is, they're definitely going to go for it here. Yeah, there's no other option. Uh, it's third down and four for the Tornadoes. Well, there's other options, but they're not good. <laughs> no. Uh, Kevin Gooch checks back in the game. Kind of crowd's kind of quiet for some reason. So I, I apologize. I, I thought I seen Cody Gregory dressed out a while ago, but I guess I didn't. So Bryson Kelly takes a snap, tries to get the first down. He may have picked up a two-yard gain. Yeah, he's going to be fourth and second for the Tornadoes, but uh, Cody is not dressed out. So 6.34 uh, left to go in the game. Tornadoes with a fourth and short. I hate to be Captain Obvious, but this is the biggest play of the game right here, Tony. <laughs> Somebody had to say it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if he. I don't know if he just don't get behind big, big Jackson Bolton and try to get that. Yeah, I, I, they may do a freeze play here. Now try they're to draw them offside. Now they're going to call timeout. So yeah. we'll take a timeout with them. Uh, with uh, six oh one left in the fourth quarter. Your tornadoes are down three, 27-24, but we've got a fourth and half a yard when we come back. school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. High school streaming service, Scordle.tv. All right, we're back here with a fourth down and a half a yard for the Tornadoes. Yeah, we got trips to the right. 
Kelly's in a shotgun, takes a snap, looking to run. He just needs a half a yard, runs over a guy. <laughs> uh, and gets that first and 10 for the Tornadoes. And like Gene said, that kind of feels like it might be the biggest play of the game. Yeah, now every game, every play after that's the biggest play of the game now. So. Mm -hmm. Fletcher was on the tackle for the Rams. We need to just punch this in. Kevin Gooch, Cole Gregory comes in. I want to punch it in, but I want to run some time off that clock. Yeah, trips right. Uh, five offensive linemen. Kelly got all day. Throws across the middle. Pass is complete to Cole Gregory. Did we doubt it? Oh, I, I went the wrong way on that. Sorry, Cole. Cole got five yards there, and I kind of went too far with the camera. Borden, Borden was on the uh, stop for the Rams. Tornadoes with second five, five eleven left to go in the game. I'm going to make a promise I'm not running this camera again. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried earlier <laughs> before the game, and he's like, I'll do it, Tony. Yeah, you, Bobby Boucher, you, you buy. You ain't gonna go. yeah. All right, here we go. We got trips again, trips to the right. Uh, five offensive linemen, Kelly, empty backfield. Bryson takes a snap. Looks to, he's, he's got to flush him out a little bit. He's on the run. Just takes what he, they gave him. He, he, was, on the, he was on the run. Phillips and uh, same band of characters, Phillips and uh, uh, Camp. Phillips, Camp. Well, we got, and, we uh, got, while you're figuring first. that out, we got two more plays here to get four <laughs> yards. Yeah, yeah. But, uh. If we had an answer for those three guys, we'd, we'd probably have a few more touchdowns up there. Man, they've been everywhere all night. Uh, tornadoes uh, huddling up. Uh, looks like we got 11 men out there, but we don't. Um, empty backfield, trips left. Third, third and four. Bryson Kelly takes a snap. Looks to throw, got a lot of time. Pass completed, touchdown, Kevin Gooch. That's a great play call by the Tornadoes. Formation kind of got him, left Kevin by himself over there. He hauls it in for the score. Looked to me like Bison put a little uh, mustard on that too. Yeah, yeah, I think he needed to. <laughs> All right, let's get this two-point conversion here. Again, that was a good play call by the Tornadoes offense. Really, really was, man. It looked good. So, Kevin Gooch in the backfield with Bryson Kelly. Jonathan Chavez split out to the right. Looks. Bryson looks. He lets go. Oh, what a great one-handed grab by Jonathan Chavez. <laughs> and he walks off like he does it every day. I can tell you this. Jonathan Chavez has had himself a night. Yes, he sir. He has done a little of everything. And, uh. He has uh, earned his stripes tonight. I'm telling you, he has really done well. He, uh, that ball was placed where only Jonathan Chavez could get it, and he did get it. <laughs> and uh, that young man, have yourself a night. Yeah, interceptions, check. Uh, big time catches, check. And tackles, so. With 435 left to go in the fourth. Tornadoes 32, Rams 27. Now this is this is uh, this kickoff's not going to be right. disputed, right? We're we're going to do the right thing here. <laughs> Whatever that is, <laughs> I'm not coaching, but I know that uh, I tested those waters once and I didn't like the result, so I'm not going back. But. No, I'd, I'd rather make them drive the field and have one play and then score and take the lead. So I'm seeing uh, there's a little bit of mix-up on the kickoff team as far as personnel. Uh, they they got a lot of starters on the kickoff team this time. So I don't know. Jackson uh, Bolton is going to be doing the kicking, I think. No? It's no, cold. It's cold. So Cole Gregory is going to be doing the kicking, and I don't know. Uh, they're talking amongst themselves, uh, trying to get the information straight. 
Uh, I'd be shocked if they kick this thing deep. It's going to be an onside kick. Yeah. So, yeah, there it is. And uh, so they're going to have it. Uh, that's fine. They're going to have it on the 49. Uh, yeah. 434 or 435 left to go in the fourth. Uh, Got to stop the quarterback run. Gotta yeah, stop it. I believe that's really important, you know, unless they really feel like they got to pass the ball. But, you know, they've been pretty successful running the quarterback. So we'll see what they choose to do. So there's Roller on first down. Looks to his right. Wants to go right. Breaks a tackle. Still on his feet. Brought down after a short gain. Um, gain of probably four. I think he got almost six there, didn't he? Five. You're right, Tony. He had five right there. So we got to stop that. Um, that's too much on first down. We want to we want to make it obvious what they got to do. And uh, so they've got empty backfield. Man in motion. Hand off to him. Cutting Jet across. Sweet, now man. he breaks one tackle. Um, Borden on the carry for them. Short gain. Um, he got about a yard there. That's a good play, good pursuit. Bryson, Bryson Kelly, Kevin uh, Gooch, uh, Jackson Mock all on the play. Brings up third and short with 342 left to go. Uh, breaks a tackle. Uh, picks up enough for a first down. Um, that's just, you know, ducking your head, not seeing your guy. They got a first and 10 there. Clock running. 336, 334. They're trying to get a play in. Well, this is the time for our defense to step up big. 25 seconds on the play clock. I don't know. Is it, could this be strategy by them? To yeah, they don't want to give us the ball back. <laughs> well, thinking they're, yeah, thinking they're going to score and just taking their time off. Yeah. Uh, let's make it hurt. Seven on the play clock, five on the play clock, three. Roller takes it, rolls to his left, cuts it back to the right, miss, uh, miss tackle. Um, you have got to break down and be ready to tackle this guy. Here comes Tanner Willing in the game. Uh, he's, got, he's got a little bit of a reputation for not liking quarterbacks, so let's see if Tanner can... Let's just hope he gets it before he gets 10 yards. Yeah, that's right. We got, <laughs> yeah, uh, 240, 239. Uh, and they're doing the same MO. They're going to take their time. They got lots of time on the play clock, 19, 18. If the uh, scoreboard's right, we only got one timeout left, which I don't like, but see what happens here. Let's just let's just hold them right here and, and uh, let them waste all the time and then just get the ball back. Five, four, three. There's a snap. He's looking. Breaks one tackle. Still on his feet. Breaks another. The guy's 6'2", 180. He's a good athlete. There's a flag down on the field. And I, judging from where those flags are thrown, that might be a holding. He does that. I'm probably doing a lot of, a lot of pointing. I just don't know. Yeah. We're going to have to do a better job of tackling the suspense is killing way too me. High, Tony. Come on, tell us the call. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, it, tackling high uh, a few times had our our eyes on the ground. Uh, you got to see what you're tackling. I don't know what that signal is. <laughs> <laughs> My mom used to tell me to get back. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I think there's not a person in the stadium that knows what that means. Yeah, what is that? How many yards is I that? I hope it's a 15-yard penalty, whatever it is. I want to tell you how, how funny this really is because Gene's been an official <laughs> at all levels in high school football for over 30-some years, and he hadn't seen that call. So, Not, 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 not that way. <laughs> it looked like he was telling people, don't touch people below Helping the Helping the runner, I believe. Yeah. Helping the runner is what he's calling mm. It's a five-yard penalty. I've, I think I've seen it called once. <laughs> now I've seen it called twice. Tonight. Well, the clock's running. The clock is running. 
Uh, they want to do that and score the last play of the game. They, that's confidence on their part, I guess. Yep. Five on the play clock. He rolls, roller rolls to his right. Come on, make, Come on, make this tackle right here. Oh, he breaks it. He picks up another three yards. After he breaks that tackle, Gene. Yeah, just you can't you can't come up an arm tackle this guy. You're gonna have to 125. make some contact with him and wrap him up. One twenty. If they want to, they can take this down to like twenty seconds. I don't think they're gonna do that. Or they can take it down to uh, forty some seconds. Okay, roller. Snap, roller looks to run. There's one in the, in the backfield. There you go. Got in there. Tanner Willing got in there first there and go. disrupted. He got him behind the line of scrimmage. Got him behind the line. Here we go. They're, now they're in a hurry up. Now they're feeling a little bit of pressure. There go, here goes Roller off to the left. He's brought down. Tornado defense is coming back alive, folks. And uh, I got a in the middle Regis, of all, it's Tanner Willing. Timeout now. Now they want to call it. And Tanner Willing with 31 seconds is a disruptor. He come back there and caused havoc. Yeah. Third down, and it's going to be fourth down and five. This could be the football game right here on this play, Tony. Tons of tornadoes in on the tackle, but Tanner Willing blew up that middle. 31 seconds left to go, and uh, they're not going to play that slow down game now. <laughs> no, I mean, they can slow down all they want now. If we can stop them here on fourth and a little over three here, we can uh, – we can we can do it, get in a victory formation, but yes, sir. But this is uh, we got to be able to break down and get to. I, but they're going to put it in their best player's hands. It's going to be an eight right. ten. So, roller, roller, roller. Yeah. Hey, you know what though? He did the right thing as a coach. You want to slow that time down. If you think that you got the momentum, if you think you can punch it in, you don't want to leave drum drum right tornadoes any time on the clock. No, absolutely. I mean that's that's good coaching, but. Uh, it could backfire him if here. We could hold him here, here not let him yeah, out of the first yeah. down. He he made us have to come up with an answer, and that answer was Tanner Willing. I mean, the other tornadoes joined in on the tackle, but Tanner blew that up. Made yeah, him. You know, I don't. I, I mean, I don't. However, this ends up. This has been one heck of a football game. So you know, we want to be out on. We're ahead right now. And we want to come out ahead, but. Either way, it's not going to kill anybody's season, but this is a great football game. Nobody's going to hang their head down or should hang their head down after this one. Guys, this is the, this is, this is the football game right here, Tony. This is it. Yeah, I like the, what I see out of the Tornado's defense posture out there. They're like, come on. So let's see, see if we can do this. Fourth, fourth and four. Well, here it is. Man, this is the game. The roller. There's going to be no surprise viewing audience that Roller, the quarterback, is going He's to take his thing. Borden's taking the snap. Yeah, he takes the snap. He's rolling. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. He's him. going down. Alabama. He's going Alabama. down. Alabama. That's, That's it. That's going to do it. 22 seconds left to go. 21 seconds, 19 seconds, 18 seconds. That clock's running. It should be Clock stopped. is running. It should be. Everybody over there is excited, too. Yeah. <laughs> if you can hear these people. I'm gonna tell you something. That drum right tornado defense has been uh, been uh, talked about not being very good, but I can tell you right now that is one heck of a football play by the whole defense out there coming in and getting that. I don't know why Roller didn't get the ball. I don't know if he's hurt, but they get Borden the ball and expecting him to get the first down, and he didn't do it. Yep, and we don't make their plays for him. So. Nope. We'll this, take them, though. This is victory formation for the Tornadoes, and I hope I got that last part because I got a little bit excited. I hope I got that on camera. Now they went from 10 seconds on the clock. They put 25 seconds back on the clock. They um, can only stop the clock twice. Right. So, you know, all we got to do is get in the victory formation a couple of times and kneel, and uh, this will be a big, big, big victory for the Tornadoes. A big victory for the team, a big victory for the coaches, the community, the, school, the student body, and uh, we let's couldn't. Let's make sure we get the snap here, Tony. There it is. He's just wasting, spending a little bit of time. They just did, they didn't even bother coming out. They're not even going to call a timeout. Uh huh. This is a great day. Oh, it's, it's over. They're they're conceding. God, they're not going to use their timeout. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, Tony, I agree with you 100. percent This 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 game was for the community, and we needed it. And these kids came through. 
Those two numbers that aren't normally on the field tonight at the 50-yard line, the 10 and the 12. Had we a hope that their to do families. With it. Yeah. This for they them had and their families. To do with it tonight. Well, what a great job. There's going to be a they're going to rush the field at <laughs> You know, I've been around drum right football a lot of years. I don't remember if we've ever knocked off a number 1 team before. <laughs> no. And um, make no mistake, this team was number 1. It was a hard fought ball game. And the tornadoes came out on top. And uh, we're going to watch these guys shake hands because this is, they'll probably see these guys again down the road probably. Yeah. In the playoffs. No, no doubt we will. But tonight answered a lot of district playoff questions, didn't it? Well, it's, it, it, it started it. You know, we got a long way to go. We got They're a couple of good teams to still play. So A very tough district for the tornadoes this year. But we just took down the number one team in a lot of newspapers' uh, opinions. All right, we'll, we'll take a – we're going we're gonna to keep it here. Uh, this is my favorite – not one of my favorite parts. It is the favorite part for tonight. These kids are going to get together, and they're going to get on a knee and do a, do, the, do a prayer. And I'm sure there's a lot of heavy hearts still. And if you're somewhere out there and you want to take a knee and bow your heads, time to do it now. What a moment. What, what class by, by both sides. Just no secret what happened uh, in our community. And, and, uh, and, and I know you guys didn't see this, but a lot of people did. The cheerleaders from Regent came over for the game, and presented the girls or cheerleaders with some flowers and, and uh, took pictures and hugs and prayers. And we appreciate Regent Prep for that gesture. It was, it was wonderful. Yeah, Olive, Olive showed a lot of uh, Olive showed a lot of uh, class this week too by put, putting our stickers on their helmets. Yeah, uh, it was all around the district, just over and over and over again. But yeah. um, I would just say this: I said, you know, we've lost three softball players from communities from Davenport, Keeper, and now Drumright. I just say, every day is precious. Hold those ones you you love dear and hug them a little extra. All right, getting back to football, big big win by the Tornadoes tonight, 32-27. And I hope that this sends a message throughout the state of Oklahoma that these Drumright Tornadoes are for real, and uh, we're going to have a lot of noise. Now, before we sign off tonight, I'm going to tell you next week we're going to be in Yale, America, to take on the Yale Bulldogs on a Thursday night, October 12th at 7 o'clock. So make your plans for that during teachers' meeting week. Um, we, we always have rivalry with Yale. Uh, they've had our number for a few years now. So They're five and one. Yeah, and we need to go out and, and let, put this one behind us and uh, go take care of business next week. But before that, we're just going to sign off and tell thanks everybody for watching and listening. And, and uh, your tornadoes are six and oh. And they just knocked off the number one team in the state, 22 27. And I'd like to say, too, you know, I can't tell you how many people in the community and, and the others say they got loved ones who lived out of state. And just thank you again to the administration for going with Scordal so these people can see their grandkids and everyone else play. It's just, it really is a true blessing. So it's our honor to do it. So. Yeah, it's, it's, 
it's it's a good thing for the community. It's a good thing for the alumni, and it's good for uh, these kids that are playing now and for the kids that are coming up. So with that being said, we're going to sign off tonight. Uh, your Tornadoes are victorious, 32-27 uh, over Regent Prep. Uh, we'll see you next Thursday night in Yale, Oklahoma. If you're a Tornado fan, you can cheer loud tonight and uh, get ready for next Thursday. So see ya. See ya, Tony. Thanks. You bet. Find out more at scordo.com slash stream.